Aloha beautiful souls. This is Ryan of Transolution and welcome to Transform with Ryan where I am bringing in that light whenever there are shadows. Now in this pick a card tarot reading, we are going to go behind the scenes with spirit and see what you aren't seeing okay it's really hard for us to have a bigger view a bigger picture of the situation when we're literally living it when we're right in the midst of it all and so in this reading like i mentioned we're going to get some guidance and information and insight from spirit on what it is you aren't seeing what maybe you could be missing regarding your situation that will help you understand it better that will help you um, navigate and maneuver within it a lot better for your highest and greatest good all right so we have three options here to get that kind of insight. We have Alder. We have Birch. And we have Clematis. I love how each card looks so distinct and different. And I'm so excited to be using the Seed and Sickle Oracle deck yet again, learning and growing with this deck and sharing that information with all of you beautiful souls as well. So Star Fam, go ahead and see which card, or if there's more than one card, that is A-OK. -okay. Trust your intuition. See which one or ones are calling to you, and you'll see the timestamps for your readings down in the description box below. I will see you there. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. And today we are going behind the scenes with the spirit to see what you aren't seeing. Find out what's happening, you know, when you're not around, what's going on in the situation beyond what you, knowledge you're privy to, okay? So we're gonna get some insight, we're gonna get some wisdom and guidance and information here to help you align with your highest and greatest path moving forward. And also to hopefully set things at ease here because, you know, sometimes it's um, the unknown that creates a bit of fear and anxiety and worry within our life. So those of you that were drawn to the alder here, what we have is a beautiful raven bird. And the raven is said to, you know, make a nest in the alder tree. And what that means is a cre uh, the creation of some type of friendship. All right. And with the raven, it's a very wise bird and it actually knows a little bit of magic. It knows a little bit of um, uh, the future. Right. And so basically what spirit is saying here is that there is someone that you need to be connecting with or someone that um, is manifesting you. All right. So there is a. Um, a relationship here in the works someone that you're meant to connect with here and that could be someone that's meant to be a friend or a lover <laughs> or even some kind of business partner or collaborator okay so it's gonna vary for each one of you as to what type of relationship this person is going to be involved in with you and what also happens with the alder tree is some of um uh, parts of the alder tree were used to help with explosives. And so what I'm seeing here is that this relationship is really going to shift and change the energies, okay? And what I'm getting right now is if this person already knows you and they haven't necessarily, like, um, if this person already knows you, they're they're in your life already, what I'm sensing is that they're really just trying to scope you out, okay? They have their eye on you, they know they want to collaborate with you, they have a crush on you, they're intrigued by you and want to be your friend. So one of those scenarios is playing out for you, but this person is just waiting for the right time, um, trying to see when would be the best opportunity to speak with you and get to know you like you know maybe invite you out to go do something set up a meeting with you a date um, something like that okay so they're they're not yet ready to take action is what i'm feeling with this card and they're they're really assessing the situation at the moment all right so let's see what else we got coming through here on what you're not seeing. Let's build upon this um, energy here and this information using the tea leaf fortune cards here. 
there are so many cards in this deck that I often just break it up into short piles. Like I do a little pre-shuffle <laughs> before um, I prepare to do all the individual readings within a video. So my gosh, definitely like worth the, the expense for this deck because it's like the most cards I've ever seen in an Oracle card deck. So this one kind of jumped out of the pile here. So we have casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. And actually what I'm feeling for this person is it's an end of their situation. All right. And it's not so much for many of you. It's not really anybody leaving your life. There could be a variant here where someone is leaving your life to create space for this new person to come in. So, you know, taking that example of a lover or someone who has a crush on you, maybe they're just waiting to see if you break up with your current partner and you separate from your current partner and then they'll see that as an opening to make their move. All right. Um, or maybe someone is waiting for that opportunity to offer a collaboration or a partnership with you once your current partnership or collaboration is is up. OK, when it's run its course. Um, but for really for them, it's I'm sensing for them, it's an end of their situation, OK, on their end. And so they're definitely in that transition phase for sure, whether or you're not in a transition phase yourself. I think that's, you know, dependent on your situation. But for them, they're making space to have you be a part of their life. OK, so contracts are expiring. What I'm seeing both, you know, soul contracts, but business contracts. And then that will create space for um, you to connect with them. Or maybe this person that has a crush on you, they're in a relationship and they're really not feeling their relationship and um, they're preparing to end things with that person. So they just need to go through their process is the, the main message here with that. Next, we have wall misunderstanding. OK, so I think that really speaks a lot to that. You know, they're really assessing the situation. They're trying to figure you out because they don't want any misunderstanding. They don't want any walls between you. They want to break down all the barriers that are connecting the two of you together. So they're really actually putting a lot of thought into how they're going to connect with you, how they're going to work with you, how they see this relationship evolving with you. And um, they're taking a lot of care with this process um, as well and being very intentional with it as what I'm feeling. Um, for many of these people that are trying to connect to you, um, you know, since this is a general reading, there's a lot of energies to tune into. But what I'm really feeling is they don't want to mess it up. Like maybe they've made um, some mistakes and some misplays in the past and like they're like, OK, I don't want to repeat that with you because you're really worth it and I really want this to work out for us. So they're, you know, kind of getting their ducks in a row, if you will. Next, we have firecracker ex excitement. Oh, my God. Were we not just talking about how the alder, that part of the tree is used to help create explosives? So this... Um, this connection is going to be explosive. Um, in what ways? That's I think that's actually um, yet to be seen, okay? Um, but there's a lot of potential for a, a beautiful connection here as long as everybody is, is mindful, I guess, of what they say and what they do. Um, what I'm getting here is definitely there could be an element of triggering happening here, right? Where one of you um, have some traumas from the past that can be very triggering, okay? And so I think there's that's maybe part of this mindfulness that this person is trying to bring into your relationship. It's like, I don't want to trigger you. I don't want to set you off. I don't want to say or do the wrong thing that will upset you, all right? Because they're just, I mean, honestly, what I'm feeling is they're, they're, um, they're super excited to connect with you, but um, they're worried because in the past, their excitement got the better of them. And they're, um, what I'm also feeling is there was a situation where they kind of put their foot in their mouth, okay? Or in their zeal and in their excitement that they weren't really thinking and they they did something that maybe um was kind of offensive and they didn't mean it to be by like they didn't mean it to be offensive at all but it just came out that way um it's like the delivery 
didn't go as smoothly as they were thinking it would, okay? And we have wing, wind chimes, peace, and harmony. Yes, this is what that person is striving for. <laughs> they want this um, connection, this, this business venture, this contract to be like smooth sailing. So again, they're kind of making sure the, all the T's are crossed, the I's are dotted, the ducks are in a row. Everything is as, um, I guess, perfect, <laughs> if you will, as it could be. All right. Okay, let's get some information here from the tarot to see more about behind the scenes, what's going on here. It looks like for um, people that were, for all of you that were drawn to the Alder card, it does involve a connection, a relationship on the horizon of some sort. And it could be in, in varying areas of your life, depending on what your personal situation is. All right. Okay. So we have, let me just slide that up there a bit. Ace of Cups, there you go, new relationship. So for sure, it's relationship energy. Um, and if you aren't really open to that energy, then definitely check out another one of the readings. Or this could be, again, someone that you're not even aware of, okay? That's trying to connect with you, but that will all be revealed soon once they feel comfortable and confident. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. So again, new business venture, new opportunity, um, job opportunity, money-making opportunity is what I'm feeling here. New project, um, creative project, uh, collaboration. So maybe it's another musician. If you create music or another artist, um, author, poet, someone on social media even. So this opportunity to really connect and create Pentacles energy is about creating something in the physical world, creating something new and beautiful together. Ah, uh, see, there you go. Page of Wands, excitement, energy coming from the Page of Wands, and also um, new beginning, new start, um, something new coming into your life. And it's, um, you know, like what we mentioned earlier, it's most likely a person here that's coming into your life that you aren't seeing yet. Um or you're not even seeing like what this relationship can become. And what I'm getting is with this person here, again, they're very passionate, they're very excited. That's the wands energy. They have a lot of um, uh, energy <laughs> and a lot of enthusiasm. That's the word I'm looking for. They have a lot of enthusiasm for what could become of your connection and your relationship with each other. Um, again, they're just, what I'm feeling with them right now is they're feeling a bit vulnerable, like a child, okay, like a page. They're feeling um, kind of like newbie energy. They're, they're, there's a little bit of nerves. They feel like a novice, like a beginner. They're just like, oh my gosh, like I feel like I've never asked someone out on a date before. I've never tried to make a friend before. I've never offered a business deal before. Like they have that energy with you. So they're a bit nervous about this because again, they don't want to screw it up. We have King of Cups here and Justice. Okay, so yes, for sure, they they want it to be balanced. They want it to be fair. They want to do the right thing with this Justice card coming out here. And they really see this um, balance and this equality between the two of you. It's like, this is a great match. We're going to be a great complement to each other. That's what... Uh, that's what they see and that's how they feel towards you. Um, so they, again, that's why they see this to be very, very fr fruitful. And part of it is here, they're trying to master their emotions, <laughs> okay? Remember I told you there's a lot of enthusiasm, there's a lot of nerves coming here with it, there's a lot of um, hesitancy because they like, again, they don't want to mess it up. So they're trying to master these emotions and overcome them. They want to come towards you with a lot of confidence, okay, and a lot of clarity because they want this peaceful, harmonious relationship with you. They don't want there to be any misunderstandings. They want you to be just as excited about it as they are. And so they're trying to get really the reins on them, on their mental state and their emotional state. They don't want to become come off as too overexcited, too overzealous, or too strong and desperate or like clingy. They don't want to like scare you off. <laughs> Alrighty. And so maybe some of you actually know who this person is. 
Um, I, do, I get that's not the case for most of you, but some of you that do know who this person is, Spirit is saying just be patient with them, all right? Let them go through their process, let them work this out, and when they're ready, they'll come to you, and um, it will be worthwhile to hear what they have to say and what they have to offer, okay? And for those of you that don't know yet who this is they're just going to reveal themselves very very soon and i i wish you all the best in this new connection it sounds like it has a lot of beautiful potential here so let me know if you enjoyed your reading comment down below what resonated with you what you're calling in and of course if you enjoyed this reading and enjoy the vibes here please feel free to like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready for another reading i did link one up here in the top right corner so you can go there whenever you're ready and for those of you that are on a self discovery journey, um, a spiritual awakening, self-improvement journey. I'm here to help. I got called by Spirit to open up my schedule to take some clients on to assist them along their journey of self-improvement, self-development, um, becoming in alignment with their purpose and who they are. And so if you look in the description box, blah, 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 if you look in the description box down below, you'll see a link to my Calendly schedule and you can book a discovery call with me to see how best I can assist you. So I'm looking forward to that connection. I'm looking forward to meeting some of you here today. And in the meantime, I am sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Have a very, very beautiful day, y'all. Catch you later. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. Um, and today we are going behind the scenes with Spirit to see what you aren't seeing. What is unknown to you right now? What are you maybe missing because you're just not aware of it since you have other things on your mind, other things on your plate? Okay, and this is designed to give you a little bit of relief, a little bit of reassurance, and on top of that insight and wisdom here. So for those of you that were drawn to this birch card, it looks amazing doesn't it I like the colors here this kind of blue gray and white really help this red pop out and the, the contrast in this image is just so beautifully done and the message from the birch tree here is that there is this new beginning around the corner for you okay um, this birch tree is actually speaking to um, getting through really tough and challenging times okay and there's this determination and there's this resilience about the birch that is um, being called for in your situation right now so it's like continue to be resilient and be determined and hang in there because this um, chapter is coming to an end and you're about to have this opportunity for a new beginning it's like a, literally around the corner and you'll have this chance to heal refresh rejuvenate reflect um, that type of thing okay um, and what's so great and interesting about the birch that I learned is you know it's one of the first trees that will sprout at the beginning of a spring season but not only that but if there's a fire that clears out a section of the woods this is one of the first trees that will actually sprout again from that fire so it's that determination and resilience not to be held down or held back okay and so spirit is saying hang in there because the end is just around the corner you're like literally coming up to the finish line oh such good news such good news so definitely if if you've been experiencing some kind of struggle, you're almost through it. You are literally almost there, okay? And I dropped that, so we're gonna take that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take that too because it was like sticking out. Wow, this is very popping. This, this reading, the other one was like not about that, like jumping around. Um, but the energy from that reading was a bit shy now that I think about it, so that could be why. But this energy, there's some excitement here because it's like, oh my gosh, we're almost through. We're almost through. It's like, you know, when you are doing some kind of race, it's like you, when you see that fin finish line, it's almost like there's this burst of energy within you, right? Where you're just like, oh my God, I'm at the final stretch. Let me just get this done. Let me get this over with. And so many people have that last burst of energy that comes through for them. Um, closer to the finish line so that's you and look at how appropriate this 
fortune card is that came out to support your reading is persevere and you will overcome problems. Here is that camel. So the message that I'm getting from spirit to kind of support you and reassure you is like, you know, in that dry, dry desert where there's not a lot of water, not a lot of plants, the camel still survives. The camel can trek for long distances and get to its destination without, um, you know, this excess and abundance of water and plants. And so Spirit is saying, like, I know it feels like it's been a desert and it's, you've been roughing it, like, on the reels, but like this camel, you're going to make it through and find that oasis, that haven, that blessing, that feeling of accomplishment and success um, real, real soon here. All right. Oh, I love that message for you. That's so exciting because let me tell you, I know how you feel when you're going through the struggle and you're like, oh my God, are we there yet? Is this almost done? Like I am really starting to feel worn out. I'm starting to feel exhausted. And so spirit is saying, yes, the, the end is just around the corner. You're almost there. And next we have Axe forces working against you. Yes. So this was speaking to the challenges that you may have been facing here. All right. And this was really what I'm hearing from spirit right now is this was really to kind of groom you and prepare you for the role that you're going to need to take on here in this next chapter of your life. This experience that you're going through with the challenges and difficulties, it's to help set you up for success in the next chapter, okay? Because it's kind of like you won't be as successful in the next phase of your life here if you hadn't learned this lesson now, if you hadn't gone through this trial and tribulation now, okay? It's kind of like what I'm getting um, going back to these analogies with sports <laughs> and exercise, right? Um, you have to train to be in a marathon, okay? And the training itself can be a lot more grueling than running the marathon, right? And so sticking with that training, being committed to the fact like, hey, I'm going to be able to run this marathon and complete it um, all the way through. So I'm going to train every day, um, eat right, um, get into a good routine, a good training schedule, and work through it. And, and you know, when you're training, it's like you're pushing yourself a little more each day, challenging the peak and creating a new peak, okay? A new peak level of performance, a new peak endurance and stamina, right? Or getting a better time, being able to lift 10 more pounds, 20 more pounds, 30 more pounds, like with each week getting stronger and stronger and stronger, okay? So those are those challenges and those forces that work against you to strengthen you, okay? So all of this that you've been going through, even though it, I'm getting the energy of like, man, this really sucks, like I'm so done with this, it's like, no, this is helping to groom you and grow you to um, really step into this role in the next chapter. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. So hills, obstacles to overcome. Oh my gosh. We've been talking about this um, with the reading. I mean, I don't know what else we can add to this okay this is just part of your journey part of the path forward um, is making it through these obstacles here and getting to that finish line next we have forest muddled unclear thinking so what i'm sensing here is um you know when you really felt pushed to your limit and pushed to the maximum your brain gets a little bit foggy it gets a little bit hazy and and um there's not much clarity. And so spirit is saying like, um, that will pass first and foremost. What I'm getting from spirit too is definitely take a deep breath. Um, maybe you're due for a good day of rest and relaxation, okay, to help clear your thinking, get your mind fresh. Um, perhaps some of you, because of the trials and tribulations, you haven't been sleeping well. Um, maybe whether it's having a hard time falling asleep hard time staying asleep or um, having interrupted sleep right throughout the night. So spirit is saying, you know, maybe um, now as you're entering the last leg, it's time to get 
a good rest before you head to the final round. <laughs> okay, so do something that will help you relax. That might be going to the sauna or to the jacuzzi, um, taking a nice warm bath, um, taking a nap, getting a massage or a spa treatment. Yeah, okay, so um, do what um, will help you best clear your mind and help you get focused again because you know the end is coming up here it's time for that final test that final um, hurdle and you want to get through it with flying colors <laughs> so let's get some more information here from the tarot see what else we got going for you that you're not seeing that spirit can share with us Okay, so first out we have King of Wands, Seven of Wands. Okay, so that definitely is speaking to the hurdles and the obstacles and sticking with it. Okay, um, maybe, you know, with this scuba diver being surrounded by these mer people, it's like you're in unfamiliar territory. Everything feels like unclear, unknown, right? With this muddled thinking. And it's like, oh my gosh, is the end in sight? And Spirit is like, yes, yes, it is. The ending is literally around the corner. You just can't see it yet because you need to turn the corner first. Okay. And things feel unknown. Things feel kind of up in the air. You don't know what's going to happen. Is this scuba diver gonna make it out safely or are they gonna capture him and imprison him like what's gonna happen to him it's like there's that anxiety of just not knowing but spirit it just wants to send that reassurance to you that it's gonna be okay here we have the moon okay again pulling into that energy of there is no clarity here right the moon creates these shadows it's not quite as bright as the sun which illuminates things and give us clear crisp picture of our surroundings the moon doesn't quite offer that same level of clarity but the moon does encourage us to trust our gut trust our intuition follow the calling of our soul our spirit okay um and you know what's represented here in the moon card is a siren so for those of you that don't know the myth of the siren it's these water-based beings and creatures who sing their song and it kind of lures sailors to come towards them all right so it's a very magnetic and attractive song and you know in classic um, greek mythology what they would do is they try to have the sailors ship crash <laughs> so that they can i don't know take their goods, rob them, eat them. I don't know what they do with them, actually. I'm sure it like varies depending on who you ask and where the source of the myth comes from. But don't worry about that. This isn't about like some bad ending coming through. Not at all. It's about following, again, the song of your heart, being in alignment, following your path, honoring your, your higher self here, your authentic self. Here we have the nine of pentacles okay so this is um speaking to greater stability moving forward okay because this is that the turbulence <laughs> the rough waters that you are experiencing before things calm down it's that um storm before the 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 dawn okay um the rain before the rainbow i feel like there's another saying to that that I'm like forgetting right now that I'm having like a brain fart on and also what this is saying is like your wishes are going to be granted like you you put all this time and effort you made it through these challenges and you're going to have that success you're going to achieve your goal and here are oh, beautiful we have the magician yes so this is really you creating your success coming through honey coming through your hard work is gonna pay off um you are going to get exactly what you wanted maybe even more with this okay because you put your dream and your goals you took action on it that's the thing with the magician the magician has this idea of what they want to create and then they pull all the ingredients they get the spell together and they cast the spell they set the intention they do the magic and so that's what happened with you with your situation all right it's like you have this vision for yourself in mind and you set your goal and it's going to come true. Just make it through this last bit here. Okay. 
Now, I didn't talk too much about the King of Wands because I just wanted to see what other energies was coming through here. And um, actually, nothing came through that was going to add to it or alter what I initially felt for the King of Wands. And really, it was mastery. Okay? <clears throat> this King of Wands really speaks to you've mastered something, you've achieved that like certification, if you will, um, you got your reward, your medal. Um, and what I'm also seeing, oh my God, I just had the word in my head and then it totally left because I was like being chatty Cathy here. Um, there is this, this charisma now that's gonna come out, this level of confidence that's gonna come of you being able to see this goal, this project, this process through to the end despite the obstacles, despite the hurdles, it's going, you're going to kind of prove to yourself like, hey, I could do this. Like, I'm tough. I can handle it. I'm a survivor. I'm a thriver. Like, I got this. You know, there are points along your journey. I'm feeling that you had a lot of doubt in your abilities and whether or not you can um, stick it through till the end, like hang in there. And really, you are going to master that you're going to be like, hey, actually, yeah, I am a pretty tough cookie. I'm pretty resilient. I'm quite capable. I'm quite determined and dedicated. And I know I can put, I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. So that's this confidence that's going to come through in yourself and that charisma, because I'm betting that there are going to be people who are going to um, definitely um, celebrate and point out your success and your win and they might even ask you like oh my god how did you do it um please share with me your secrets your tips your tricks right um because you did so well on this like a lot of other people gave up but you hung in there <laughs> right and so you're going to even have this level of expertise that you can pass on to other people whoa wow okay boss <laughs> um so let me know in the comments down below what resonated with you what you're calling in from this reading here here, okay, because it sounds like you're going to have a wonderful victory, a wonderful success here after these um, obstacles are overcome. And I invite you as well to like and subscribe to this channel if you resonate with the vibes here. There's a link even that I placed up here in the top right corner to go to another reading for you to enjoy. Now, for those of you who are on this journey of spiritual awakening, self-improvement, self-development, and you are facing some obstacles and you need that help, you need that guidance to help um, get you through, there ain't no shame in that because in the description box down below, you'll find a link there to book a one-to-one -one discovery call with me um, because Spirit has encouraged me at this point in time. You know, I've been focusing so much on these YouTube videos and content to help support people, but Spirit is saying, hey, do some more one-to-one -one work with people, okay? Get in there, get to know people, help them through their individual path and journey because there's something for me to learn there, but there's also something for you to gain in achieving your goals. So I'd love to help with that. And it's the discovery call is really just to help me understand what your needs are and to see if we're good to work together, if we're compatible. So I look forward to connecting with you all. Until next time, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Have a very wonderful, wonderful day and best of luck on the remainder of your journey. See you later. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome back to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. <laughs> I don't know why I have to say it like that, y'all, but I'm glad you can humor me. <laughs> and today we are looking behind the scenes with spirit on what you aren't seeing, okay? There is something within your situation that feels very unclear to you that maybe you're missing or you're not noticing um, well enough because you're literally in it, right? You're in the midst of the situation. You are like playing that role and as the main character in the story and you're not seeing what's going on behind the scenes and in other people's minds and energies. And so Spirit is here to help enlighten you on what those things could be. Okay, so here, for those of you that were drawn to the Clematis card, um, I hope I said that right, um, super colorful. I like the, the complement of color within this with the pinks, the orange, the blues, and um, the greens. And the message from this plant is that it's really okay to let something go, all right? And when... And... 
I can't get too specific with this right now because what I'm getting from spirit is that it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But you know what this is, okay? There's been something you've been resisting of letting go, whether that's a career, a relationship, a friendship. Maybe there's a project that you were working on and it's not panning out well and you don't want to give up on it um, necessarily. And, and so spirit is like saying, hey, it's okay to let things go. Like there's a reason why this feels like it's not working out. There's a reason why you are on the struggle bus with this. It's because it's just not meant to be. And whatever you needed to get from this project, this process, this relationship, this job, you got it. You got what you needed, okay? There's no more growth left there for you. There's nothing left to gain from this. There's no more benefits to this um, situation. So spirit is like, let it go. And once you let this go, then spirit can deliver something new and most likely something better in, in to replace it, okay? And so uh, the, the message that I'm getting really strongly here is detachment. Okay, so just detach, let go, uh, go to the next stage, the next scene that spirit is guiding you towards. There's no need to dilly dally anymore or like put it off and drag your feet. Spirit's like, really, it's okay. Like, I know maybe you have some fondness for this thing, whatever it is, person, place, item, right? Um, but really, it's time is done. <laughs> okay, we're going to pull some tea leaf fortune cards here to build on this message. See what else spirit can tell us about what you're not seeing here. That's going to help you um, be in alignment with your highest and greatest self and the highest timeline for you. Okay, sound good? Sound good. Okay, this went really smoothly with the shuffling. Um, like one more. One more for the road, yes. Oh, okay. We have the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Mm, so what I'm definitely sensing with this, with this shrewdness and resourcefulness is like cut your losses is the message that's coming through from spirit, okay? Like maybe there's a part of you that doesn't want to be viewed as a quitter or be seen like you're giving up and spirit's like, no, don't even worry about that. Like you did everything you could with this situation. There's nothing left for you to do. Um, there is no shame and there's nothing to feel guilty or embarrassed about by letting this go, okay? And cutting your losses. Next, we have grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Okay, time to celebrate. I think the energy has been quite heavy um, as you tried to work through this and, and make it happen for you. And so it's time to, as part of the releasing and the letting go, it's time to celebrate and have fun. Spirit is like, I think you denied yourself that um, for quite some time now because you've just been working extra hard with this situation, with this endeavor. And it's, and it's time to move the energy, switch it up, okay? Um, because as you let things go, that means something else is taking its place. You know what I'm saying? And so um, you can view this as a celebration, okay? Like, yay, I don't have to let this drain my energy anymore. Yay, this isn't going to drain my finances anymore, right? I don't have to deal with this craziness that's been, you know, stressing me out. <laughs> so celebrate, Next, we have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. There you go. That's what's coming through. Spirit is saying like, hey, once you let this thing go, there's not going to be any more drain, leaking, um, kind of like lower vibrational energies. Now you can kind of, uh, you know, you've hit the bottom with this situation. Now it's time to go up. Now it's time to turn a profit, get some gains for once instead of losses. Okay. So spirit is saying like, that's, that's what this is all about. Okay. This thing isn't serving you. So you got to let it go because spirit wants to give you something else. That's way cooler. <laughs> 
Next, we have dog barking advice from a friend. Ooh, so it sounds like a friend is going to come through for you here with this and help you. I'm sensing a lot of support with this friend energy. Um, that will be very, very helpful, especially what I'm hearing is um, with job and breakup specifically okay like um if you are not happy in your job and you haven't been happy for a while spirit's like okay time to let go so maybe there could be a referral um from a friend that says hey this position opened up that i heard of i think you'd be great for it like i can put in a good word for you okay and they can give you some advice on like how to best represent yourself and best connect with the um, employer or the interviewer whatever the case is um, and for others of you you know when it comes to like a, a, a breakup um, and uncoupling I've heard that term before um, this friend is really gonna be there to support you and you know go out for that drink with you to um, help release your your sadness over the loss um, or or you know have that ice cream party have that pajama movie night and watch some funny movies or romantic comedies or whatever to help lift your mood up maybe even just take a weekend getaway so you can get some fresh air clear your head clear your thoughts kind of cleanse your energies as you leave this situation behind you so there's definitely um, some friendship connections coming through here which is beautiful. I mean, that's part of what it means to be someone's friend, right? Is to be there for them when things got difficult or tough or challenging. And to help you kind of get back on your feet. Yeah? <laughs> I love it. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful. So we're letting something go to clear up our energy, to clear up our space and and prepare for something new to arrive. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so with the tarot to help us out, we have Justice giving us more information here. The Chariot, oh wow, two major arcana cards already. Queen of Wands, Two of Swords, and Queen of Swords. So we have two queens here and I would I would like to point out that it's interesting that we have a queen here, a queen here, and in between is a two of swords where these two men are sparring. So what I'm definitely sensing here is for um, <clears throat> this situation, it's like you both were not on the same wavelength. Okay, you're not in alignment anymore. Um, and I'm speaking to this relationship that's ending, okay? Um, that you're choosing to step away from, okay? This person is really in their head about um, the situation, and this person is really um, passionate, and they're feeling very spirited with this. Um, and they're trying, what I'm getting with this is they're trying to get their way through charm and um, persuasion, and with this, this person is trying to be logical and trying to be practical and like present an argument, if you will. So I don't know if you resonate with one of those personas, one of those characteristics, but you're just not seeing eye to eye. All right. Um, and with business and work, again, this person is being logical. This person is being um, quite um, detached from the situation and they're trying to like play it by the rules, play it safe in a way. And this person is a little bit more into taking a risk, taking a chance, going where the energy feels like it's moving the fastest, right? Um, going with their passions. And again, not seeing eye to eye there. Like somebody is like, take caution. Another person is like, charge forward. All right. And, and that energy is just not compatible. And, and I, and neither of you are giving it up. Neither of you are like, backing down and and you shouldn't okay like honor your feelings honor your gut instinct in this case and if it's not compatible it's not compatible okay and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing to be ashamed of or feel like something failed um that's the nature of relationships right um they grow and then they die <laughs> just like plants do um, so that's the energy that's coming through with this. Now here, um, this is speaking again to that imbalance, okay, between the two of you. There's no balance in this um, 
this connection any longer, whether it's you and another person, you and your job. It's not balanced. Um, there is there is this element of burnout and feeling tired and fatigued and like just worn out. It's like, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to argue anymore. It's like, I keep trying this and it's not working. And you, and you keep doing the same thing or you keep making the same mistake or we keep butting heads over the same thing. And so it's like not harmonious anymore. It's not in balance. And you know, what's interesting is with this sword and with these parchment that's rolled up i'm hearing from spirit just like cut the contract cut it up shred it up like get rid of it it's done it's over this contract is not serving anybody anymore and like everybody's just kind of miserable and with the chariot it's like it's time to move on okay because here with the chariot you can see these two um, mermaid or mer people are trying to get this horse saddled up trying to get it controlled and it's being a bit wild right this wild passionate energy and that's what's happening here both of you are very spirited both of you are very stubborn in a way and it's kind of like you want your way and the other person isn't able to give it to you so it's like okay well then this is not going to be a fruitful connection so just go your separate ways so that both of you can actually move freely and charge forward in the direction that makes you happiest that makes you feel um uh like you're honoring yourself and your desires okay um like this horse the horse energy within you, if you will, it just longs to be free. It wants to run without being um, inhibited or restricted. And both of you, um, in this case, you know, I feel both of you have the right to do that. And it's, again, I can't stress enough, it's okay that both of you want different things. That's the key here. It's okay to want different things and to let this partnership and this relationship go. Um, yeah, it's nobody's fault. That's what I'm hearing. It's nobody's fault. You both did the best that you could and it's just, it's run its course and now it's time to move on. So, um, yeah. So, wow, that's a very powerful message from Spirit about what you aren't seeing and um, practicing that detachment will definitely help. So let me know in the comments down below what resonated with you, what um, you're taking with you out of this reading. And of course, if you love the vibes here, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're ready for another reading. I did link one right up here in the top right corner, so you can click that link and head over there if you'd like. And for those of you that are on this spiritual awakening journey, this self-development, self-improvement journey, and you're hitting some snags and you would appreciate some personalized guidance one-to-one -one on things such as this um, I did receive like a message and a calling from spirit to start working with people one-to-one -one again and opening up my schedule to make a impact on people's personal lives and so in the description box down below you'll see a link to book a one-to-one -one discovery call with me to see if we're compatible if we're a good match i can hear about your goals and i can offer ways to assist you and see what you resonate with all right so i'm looking forward to connecting with some of you that would be really amazing and really awesome to help you achieve your goals and dreams until next time my dears though i'm sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs thanks for hanging out with me Bless Blessings.